Lovely. Gone fishing. Gone fishing. Gonna have to get a provisional in case. All the drama. You see that? That nearly missed. <laughs> Hi everyone, Kevin here from Golf Guy Reviews. I hope you are all safe and well. We're gonna do something a little bit different today. I'm gonna to test a method to see whether or not you can use it to break 100. So I'm out here on the course. It is absolutely freezing. And what we're gonna do is that in my bag today, I'm not gonna use anything more than a seven iron. So I've got my seven, eight, nine, pitching wedge, sand iron, and putter. I think that's all I've got in my bag. And what we're gonna do, I'm gonna play nine holes and I'm gonna see if I can break 50 with just using those clubs. Now, I'm gonna talk a little bit more as we you know, go through on course as to why I'm gonna do this and as to why it might work. So let me know down in the comments whether you think this is gonna work or not. Can we break 50 using nothing more than a seven iron? So let's jump in. Right, so this is 148 yards to the flag. I've not swung a golf club in around, I think it's about five weeks um, and no practice, no warm up. Uh, so this is a really good test because I'm certainly not going to be playing to my handicap today. So here we go, 148 yards, I've got a seven iron, let's see what happens. Short of the green, so look at that. That club should normally be going probably about 160 and that's probably gone about 130. But we're away. Okay, so I'm on the green, not too bad. Should be able to two putt. Right, my hands are absolutely frozen. I'm gonna keep my gloves on. I've had absolutely no warm up. So I think this maybe is gonna be a good reflection of what a higher handicapper golfer would play like. <laughs> See, look at that, completely misjudged it. Left it about a foot and a half short. There we go, so we are in for a four. So why are we filming this video today and testing out this theory of only using nothing more than a seven iron? Well, for absolutely years, I've had loads of people tell me, oh, you just need to hit two seven irons on a par four and you'll be near the green. So I thought, let's give it a try. Let's see what it actually does. If you are a beginner golfer and you know, you're really wanting to try to break 100, then why not give this tip a try because you know, yes, you're not going to use this every time you play golf. You are going to get better with your longer clubs. But what I'm going to show in this video is actually sometimes the bigger clubs, the drivers, the free woods, the long irons, they're doing more damage than good. So, you know, if you can hit a seven iron reasonably straight, you're going to keep yourself in play. You're not going to lose any balls. And hopefully we're going to break 100. Well, break 50. So let's give it a go. So you might guess conditions are pretty wet, so we're playing some temporary tees today. So normally this would be about 350 yards, the second hole, but today it's playing about 235. So again, I've got my trusty old seven iron, plenty of room up there. So hopefully I can try and find something that looks a little bit like a fairway. So that was horrible. You probably saw on the camera right off the toe, probably gone about 120 yards. But it's not the end of the world. Okay, so we've got 136. Balls sat down a little bit. I've got eight iron in my hand. You've seen so far, I've not been striking it too well. So we're just gonna try and kind of almost punch this up now. Might go in that bunker, might clear it. Ah, it's in the bunker. Okay, not to worry. Right, as you can see, it's not the nicest of bunkers. Sand's really compacted down. I'm not the greatest bunker player in the world, but it doesn't matter because we're out playing golf on this beautiful Sunday morning. So let's see if we can just get this on the green. Sit. It did, even a little bit back, can't talk, even a little bit backspin. That wasn't too bad. Right, so what's this? I'd say probably about eight foot, right to left. Just started to rain, don't know if you can hear that on the camera but we've got another par putt. Oh, I didn't hit it again. You can see quite a big break in that one. There we go. Two holes down, two bogeys. Nine shots so far. Right, so this par four is playing about 256. As you can see, it's another temporary tee. So we're on a bit of a slope, but it doesn't matter. 
we play with what we've got in front of us. Got another seven iron. Oh, sent it so far up the right. You probably saw on the camera, it's probably an absolutely awful swing. Should be short of that bunker on the right. So as you can see from that shot there, I'm not playing particularly well at the moment. I've not played for five weeks. I've not had any warm up. I've not been down the range. So you've seen there, I'm not swinging it very well. But I only took a seven iron and I'm not in that much trouble. If I'd have had the driver, which I probably would normally do on this hole, could have been out of bounds it was so far right. Hmm, let's see where we go on. So I got 110 to the flag, but you can see it's right behind this big old tree and I'm not feeling that confident that I'll get up and over that in time. So, I'm gonna see if we can play a little bit of a fade or a slice. And if I end up left to the green, that's not the end of the world. Oh, instead, I go through the tree, it caught the tree, and it's dropped between the two bunkers. I've got about 35 yards. I've got a little bit of danger in front of me on the right, but not enough that I really need to kind of go up and over it. I've got plenty of room left of the flag. So I'm just gonna take a pitching wedge, see if we can pitch this to the front of the green, maybe roll it up to the flag a little bit, see what happens. So I hit it a bit, a bit firm. Actually, it's probably pin high, saying a bit firm. Just went a bit left, but you know, that was my bailout. That was my safety shot. I'm not too disappointed with that. I'm on the green. I've got another par putt. All right, what have we got here? Probably 10, 11 foot. Just gonna go a little bit left to right. See if I can actually get the ball to the hole. No, I can't. But again, it's a tapping bogey. So three holes down. Three bogeys, what's that? That's a four on the first, a five on the second, a five on the third. Next up, par three, 141 to the flag. It's actually 152, but it's playing downhill, so we've got an eight iron. We're scoring okay so far. So let's see if we can keep this bogey train rolling. That felt like a nicer swing. It's on its way, should be middle of the green. Bang, middle of the green. Lovely. Okay, here we go. Can, well, can we make a birdie? You know, birdie would be lovely. A par would be nice. Not hit it. Look at that. Look how short I've left that. So again, I'm playing like a beginner golfer anyway. So I think this is a really good test. You know what, that's, that's that far away. We need to bring the camera closer. There we go, cows in a par, always nice to see. So, we're not scoring too bad. Right, so it is 315 to the middle of the screen. Trust the old seven iron in hand. It's out of bounds all down the right. So this is kind of a hole where taking less club, not necessarily a bad idea. I have literally no idea where that's gone. I can't see it in the sun. Hmm. Felt like a nice strike. Didn't hear any woods. Not sure, might have to hit a provisional. Right, so I found my shot. It was uh, over here on the left-hand side, but I didn't realize that we're actually playing a temporary green on this hole. So let's just walk over it. Should we call it a five? Oh, drop my ball. Yeah, let's call this one a five. Move on to the next hole. Right, par four. More temporary tees, I'm afraid. This is probably playing around 220, 230. I say probably because it's such a dog leg left I can't actually get to the flag uh, to get my range finder on it. So let's just see if we can take a seven iron, pop it down there in the middle of the fairway. Oh, that was not a nice hit, but it is gonna work out absolutely fine. Might even be in the, in the rough and left, but again, it's a seven iron. It's not causing me too much damage, but it's down there. 150 yards. Now, as you can see, conditions aren't great. It's pretty heavy and boggy. It's a shorter nine hole course, but there is a par five to come. So that'll be interesting. All right, here we go. So, found my ball there. Behind the tree a little bit, but shouldn't be too much of a problem. Okay, so this is actually playing 130. So, a little bit of mud on the ball, just wipe that off there. Got an eight iron, heavy conditions. This green's protected 
by two bunkers in front of it. I've got that tree, hopefully it shouldn't be too much of a problem. I have to just kind of aim a little bit right. Oh, that was horrible. Probably see it on the camera. It was a horrible swing, but it's finished on the green. So on the top tier, is it gonna roll back down? No, stuck on the top tier. But again, two irons on a short par four, and I'm on the green, and they both were pretty rubbish swings, let's be honest. They were pants. I threaded the needle between the two bunkers, and I finished on the green, just perched on that top ledge there. So again, two putts for par. See what happens. Yes, it's wet conditions out here, but this is a hell of a ridge, and I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to uh, stop this anywhere near the hole. Let's see what happens. Ooh, stop, stop, stop. It's not a bad effort. Not sure if that stayed on camera or not. Probably got about four foot to go. Yeah! It's a par. So, you're not doing too bad. Let me know in the comments. Did you think I was actually gonna score like this? Do you think I was gonna score better? Do you think I was gonna score worse? Let me know in the comments. I'm quite happy with this. Right, I'm gonna skip the next hole because it's a short par three and it's playing off a temporary tease and a temporary green. So no one wants to see that. So let's just call that another bogey, shall we? Should we call it a four? So we're gonna move on to the eighth hole and I'm not sure how many shots actually we've got left to play with to break 50. I'll have a top up on the tee. But if you're enjoying this video and you're finding it helpful, make sure you smash that like button. Okay, so we've got a par four playing about 355 yards. So good old seven iron, out of bounds on the right, plenty of room on the left. And that is a nice shot, if I do say so myself, on the fairway, rolling down towards the right. Lovely. Okay, so for the first time today, I'm not gonna be able to reach the green in two with just two seven irons. Probably got about 170 left to go, maybe 180, but it's tucked away behind those trees. So again, we've got a seven iron. I'm just gonna try and lay it up to somewhere kind of nice in the middle of the fairway ball is seriously below my feet, so we're aiming left. I've aimed very left, but here it goes, it's fading through. Lovely, I think that's gonna be a great spot to attack the green. Where'd that divot go? There it is, grab that. Oh, camera's down. Right, so it's playing 78 to the flag. You can probably just see it there sticking out from the top. It's an elevated green on this one. Ball again, below my feet. So I'm just gonna take a pitching wedge, just do a nice controlled shot. Hopefully, pop it up there. Anywhere on the green, and I'm happy to be honest. Oh, look at that, and I finned it. That was a horrible shot. Okay, it happens. We go again. Sometimes you just gotta accept those shots. They're gonna happen. The ball was right below my feet. I've not played in ages. I'm bound to duff a few, to be honest. You know, look, take the positives. I've now got a much closer chip. Yes, this is my fourth shot. Doesn't really matter. See how close we can get it. It's sat up quite nicely. So I've got my lob wedge, 58 degree. See if we can just pop this up this hill. Get it on the green. That could be quite nice. Okay, so it didn't roll out as much as I hoped it would. Got probably, what, about 12, 13 foot on this one. Again, to be honest, two putt will be absolutely fine here. And there we go. Rolled it up to the hole. No drama now. Did you see that? That nearly missed. <laughs> There's a quick tip for you. Make sure you take every bit of care over every pole. Took a six there on that hole, so that brings me to 36 with just a par five hole left. So, 14 shots to break 50, think we should be okay, unless something absolutely catastrophic happens, which would be really funny if it gets caught on camera. So let's do this one. So we've got a par five, where's the, there it is. Par five, 579 yards. So this is gonna be a real test of actually using an iron here. If I can get down in, seven, I'll be pretty happy with this. You know what's been really nice as well? I've not lost a single ball, which is always nice for a round. Now we have got out of bounds on the right, so I could still lose a ball. 
It'd be good. I lost it in the sun. Uh-oh, this could be my first lost ball. I have literally no idea. It felt like it went to the left. So, we'll go have a look. But, I'm going to have to get a provisional in case. All the drama. Right, we'll hit a provisional. I've got a Shrix and soft fill. I'm struggling to see this, to be honest, with the way that the light is. So, you know what? I could very well end up shooting more than 14. Here we go. There he is, I see that one. That's a really nice hit. And that'll be down the left. Cool, right, so we are away. Maybe three off the tee. So I found my first one. Wasn't the best of strikes by looks of things, so it's on the left. But here we go, seven iron again. Ball well above my feet. Let's see if we can get this somewhere near the fairway. I've lost it in the sun again. I'm hoping I see it down. I'm hoping it's kind of down there in the middle. I think it is. Let's find that divot. I found it and I popped it onto the right hand side of the fairway in this quite boggy rough. So again, we're gonna go seven iron. We're just gonna try and get this down now. So this will be my first, second, third shot. There we go. That's a nicer shot. And we've missed the fairway, but we're down there, we're on the right hand side. Whew. Okay, so here we go. As I say, we've probably got looking at that about 80 yards in the rough again, sat down a bit. So we're gonna take trusty old pitching wedge. And we're just gonna see if we can get it on the green. Anywhere on the green, I'll be really happy to be honest. Wow. That could even be a lost ball due to water in the bunker. Go on fishing. Gone fishing. Right, I've pulled the ball out of the bunker. I'm just going to place it down now. 40 yard bunker shot. Well, we're out of the bunker, but I think shows that I'm playing very much like a beginner golfer. Okay, so pretty simple pitch shot. I'm almost lost count now, to be honest. I actually have lost count. I'm just get into the hole and we'll count at the end. it okay so we're on the green just <sighs> so I've played six shots this to get it down in seven which is what I said at the tee I'd be pretty happy with go on go on oh there we go we tap it in for an eight right let's go add these up Right, so I'm back in the car because, well, I'm absolutely freezing, so I'm trying to get warm. And you've just seen there that I got an eight on the last hole, which on a par five, you know, three over par, it's not the end of the world when you're only using nothing more than a seven iron. But overall, that means for those nine holes, I shot 44. So, you know, I'm well below 50. And I think you'll see actually in this video, I wasn't playing particularly well. I was definitely playing much more like a beginner golfer than I was a 17 handicapper because you know it was early in the morning it was cold I haven't had a warm-up I've been not playing for five weeks so I've got a bad back so I'm a little bit worried about that and I hit some pretty rubbish shots but because I hit rubbish shots with high irons you know seven and eight irons they didn't really cause too much damage I didn't lose any balls they didn't go out of bounds uh, whereas if I was hitting a driver and I was hitting those shots they would have been gone they would have been just absolutely wrecking my scorecard so I think it's fair to say that this is probably at least worth a try if you know if you haven't broken a hundred yet and you can hit a seven iron pretty well and you can hit your other irons pretty well, maybe give it a go. Maybe that gives you the little bit of a confidence boost and the realization that so much of golf is about course management. Now, yes, absolutely at the moment everyone's saying you just got to hit it as far as you can. And to a certain extent, that's absolutely true. But it's only true if you can hit it as far as you can and still keep the ball within, you know, within play. If you keep hitting the ball out of bounds or you can't find your ball or it goes 10 yards instead of 300, what's the point? That's doing more damage than good. So if you are a beginner golfer and you're looking to try and break 100, maybe give this a go. Let me know down in the comments. What did you think? Did you think I was going to break 100? Are you going to give this a go or have you tried this yourself? Does it actually work? I really hope you enjoy this video today. So make sure you hit that like button if you do. 
And I've included a link here to another video I did where I actually tested a tip that Liam from the Golf Mate shared about how to play golf in the winter. So if you're interested, go check it out.